might turn this into a video, might put it on Instagram, don't know yet. But just want to speak on <laughs> artificial intelligence, you know. Nothing is wrong with dealing with computers and technology. Everything is balanced, you know. Too much of the sun will burn us up, not enough won't bring light. You know, dealing with the internet helps to awaken people, but also it has foolishness to keep people asleep, you know. It's the balance. But I was in Target, I'm just looking at a few examples. You got your do it your own artificial intelligence kit, you know. Which is again one of the things where you could look at like, oh shoot, but at the same time, you know, me being an old computer science major or computer architect major, I would wish we had that as a little kid, you know, but you got to let it do it yourself. But the, the one thing that kind of stood out to me was like uh, how I came here to get a tablet with a better camera. And so instead of asking one of the employees about which camera is the best, this and that, I went to one of the one of the tablets and just started looking up things on YouTube, you know, and letting the YouTube videos teach me. And I was looking at how indirectly, you know, this tablet is doing the person in the store's job. Not to say that the person in the store couldn't do their job or wasn't, you know, capable of doing it, but it just kind of gave me that little light example that even in a person being somebody who's in, you know, selling electronics, you know, and they have this knowledge about things, they still got the, you know, that technology that kind of overlaps their job, almost making it to the point of, you know, the energy of not being needed or, you know, anything of that characteristic. But again, no knock to uh, the importance of people being in a store and helping, but it's like the, the technology itself, you know, could almost make that obsolete even when it's not even trying, you know, <laughs> in essence. So, you know, with technology, it's just something that we want to be careful with. You know, we want to grow at a certain pace with this, you know, because it's always displayed on movies and that always could happen where, you know, say for instance, uh, we make artificial intelligence, you know, smart and overstanding of certain things. And then the artificial intelligence overstand like, well, hey, y'all shouldn't be uh, eating these things, or y'all shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. Oh, this not healthy, so your artificial intelligence locks down your refrigerator today. Let's just say, you know, your refrigerator so smart. It's like, no, you're gonna eat something unhealthy, and I could read it. I'm locking down. No, that's not cool, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know. Uh, just anything of that nature where you know artificial intelligence could take things into its own hands in a manner that takes you away from being your true being you know because of course we want to eat healthy and things of this nature but I also don't want no computer telling me you know how to do you know what I do you know what I'm saying so I just something to keep in mind that ain't nothing wrong with the technology but just be careful, besides of the fact that it's also throwing harmful rays at us and stuff like that. So, you know, it's good to keep that shungite, you know, uh, around you, or uh, smoky quartz when you're dealing with computers. Also amethyst too, because amethyst helps with the eye strain, not so much the energies being emitted, but, you know, again, you know, technology is a good thing. But just like with anything, you know, at one point in time, you pull out a crystal, like, hey, I got these crystals, everybody like, <gasps> like, wait, hold on, what are you going to do with that, you know, because at one time it was used for something that was, could be looked at as quote-unquote bad or quote-unquote evil, but now it's like, oh, a crystal, you know, hey, it's going to give me good energy, you know, because you've been taught lately, you know, that, hey, they do quote-unquote good, you know, same thing with voodoo or a gun or just anything, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's neutral until put into somebody's hands and their consciousness, you know, taking it to a, cer a certain polarity, you know? But again, it's balance. Technology is helping to demolish, you know, the certain oppressing systems, but it's also keeping it up, you know? It's, again, the balance, you know? S sunlight is helping make sure I stay healthy and the person that's trying to oppress me stay healthy, you know, it's a balance in all that, you know, in essence, you know, that's, that's the paradoxical energy of the universe, you know.
because I might have an old video promoting technology, you know, like, you know, yeah, do this, do that, you know, and then coming back to like, well, you know, pump your brakes, you know, and deal with it a little less, but again, it's on a constant growth, and that's another thing, to always stay fluent and open to new things. If you become stagnant with uh, information, like you feel like, all right, I reached this information, and if something else come along, I'm not changing, even if it sounds like, nah, you know, if something else come along and somebody told me uh, that I was wrong about a certain thing that I made a video and I had a lot of conviction in, I would have to quote unquote eat that crow and like, uh, you know what, I was wrong and keep it moving. And that's why I laughter and, and just, you know, being childlike with the spiritual growth is so important. The reason why parents, you know, <laughs> They stuck in their ways, so to speak, is because you know they don't they lost that childlike nature to grow, even when information proves to be true, you know. But when it's something against the old system that they were taught, you know, they just don't want to learn it or they can't. You know, it's like a system shut down. Like, nope, I'm not upgrading the Windows XP. I'm staying at Windows 98. <laughs> you know, and you have that type of vibe, but again. You know, the, the the technology experience is, is cool, it's good, but we just got to be aware of uh, how fast we're moving with it, you know. Again, there's a certain balance to things. Because also, you know, too much technology will make you not deal with the technology that you are. You know, we have the ability to fly, we have the ability to contact each other without this phone. I, you know, like, we have the ability to do all these things. You know, and that's back to the paradoxical vibration. Cause like, well, Universal, why are you making a video? Why you didn't just telepathically send this video to all of us? You know, it's a growth. <laughs> you know, we're growing into our metaphysical, or we're growing into re-strengthening our metaphysical ability. So, you know, it, it's a process, it takes steps, you know. Whenever you get a, for example, you know, as above, so below, but on a, just a different level, whenever you get a new fish, you know, uh, and you're moving them from the water that you bought them in to the aquarium or the tank that you're putting them in. You know, you don't just take them out of that water and throw them into the new water. This body will go into shock because the water may have a different temperature, you know, whatever the case may be. You take that bag, you know, that the water that is already in, and you let it get to the temperature and vibe to the, you know, to the environment that it's going in. And then, you know, as that temperature meets the same temperature that, you know, whatever bag he's in or whatever, <laughs> so to speak, then you let him loose into it. You know, you got to integrate, you know. That's why the grounding process is so important while we're growing, you know. When you're integrating energies, you got to ground information and, you know, it's a slow process in some cases. That's why, you know, your computer moves slow whenever it's processing information as above so below you know just like us it's like whenever we processing certain downloads that's when it's time for us to just go lay down in nature and don't think about nothing you know or to put that project down for a second and just rest you know because we can't you can't download uh you know download 10 videos and be trying to do this on instagram and trying to tweet and trying to do something you know it's like a computer like uh, same thing you know again with us and all technology mimics us and not vice versa it's not like we mimicking technology you know we create these technologies because this is how our body works you know a camera lens mimics our eyes you know uh you know speakers imitate our voice box you know airplanes mimic us flying in the astral planes or flying within our body you know like uh, the way engines and the technology of cars operate is just like the body, you know, it has uh, limbs on it, you know, which are the wheels, and if one tire go out, then the other ones have to struggle to work. Same thing with us, you know, you, one of your legs kind of hurt, then the other one working harder, you know, so, again, it's that whole vibe, but just wanted to share that. I guess this could be a Think Fast video since it's longer than the Instagram video, but... <laughs> definitely just want to share that with y'all and again you know be aware of the paradoxical universe things may seem like all right they just told us to deal with technology but now you're telling me not to you know hey you got to get the memo because another thing too 
in order to, uh, I'm going to use this word like shake the feds, <laughs> so to speak, you know, or the lower vibrations that's trying to keep us down, we're going to get downloads of information at the last minute. So we could be told one thing and then all of a sudden, you know, be told something else. And, you know, when we get told something else, it happens so quick. Uh, the energies that's trying to keep us off. It's like, wait, hold on, where they went? You know, where they hit? You know, because we wasn't discussing it beforehand. It just, you know, hit on some intuitive stuff. So it's just moving. Like, you know, you see the birds fly, and then they don't even, you know, they're not talking to each other verbally as much as it's just energy, like moving, where they flying in, in certain directions, almost like it's one being, you know? So that's another thing, like, uh, stay out of our brain, you know, as far as like, uh, you want to deal with your heart, space, your intuition first and foremost, but again, some of these downloads, you know, coming at the last minute and even though it may seem like things are paradoxical, it's just like say for instance, the universe might tell you, put the, put, put in your mind like, hey, let's say for instance, for me, go to this target today, I'm going to, which I, I don't own Target or nothing and promoting it or nothing on no type of level, all that good stuff to not get copyright. But anyway, I'm headed to the store. <laughs> and I got my plan, all right, I'm headed to the store in this direction. But then all of a sudden, you know, something deters me. And I could get in my ego and be like, man, but I was pointing towards that store. But it was the universe like, you know, Kind of like, again, the shaking the fed by like, well, you know, it told you to go this way and you was aiming this way and you looking it up on your phone, you know, all that. But then you get that last little minute download to like, all right, now nah, go this way. Oh, really? And it's almost like your high self talk to you in that manner. You know, the more you get connected on that type of level, it's like, nah, we told you to come to this store, but really we wanted you to come this way. But it was just a little thing to, you know, get you moving one way so you could, you know, shaking go the other way to take people off you know <laughs> certain lower vibrations but you know, again <laughs> matter of fact i'm just spilling whatever i could spill you know dripping whatever sauce i could drip <laughs> matter of fact if you ever hear me using that terminology that's what i mean dripping sauce is just dripping information you know the sauce don't get lost in the sauce either don't get lost in the information you know, be all in your brain and not in your heart. Trying to figure out a paradoxical universe intellectually can drive you insane. You know, so, do you like being insane? You know, society already insane. <laughs> so, you know, but that's it. Peace. Happy now. Now is the vibrate. We're not going too far in the future. I'm going too far in the past. Right now.